Aloha, good morning, and welcome back to the channel. It's paint correction day. It is also preparation for Ragnar Day because in 14 days we'll be doing a 200 mile or so relay around the Big Island of Hawaii. Before we head off to the gym, I need to do a little introduction of what used to be my daily driver. This is a 2014 DRZ 400 SM or Supermoto that was my daily commuter um, before I ended up getting my company car there. But anyways, we're going to hop on this, head to the gym. Let's get the running, let's get to working out, and hopefully I can get ready for a long run in 14 days. So let's go ahead and get started on the paint correction finally. So because of the size of the truck, this is a pretty big project. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hone in on one fender. We can then go back and compare panel to panel, see a real good before and after result of the paint correction. So the fender we're gonna begin on is this portion here. So we're gonna hit it with some instant detailer, clean it off with a microfiber cloth. We'll go back then and hit it with the clay bar, taking any remaining contaminants, dirt, dust, whatever's baked into that paint. We'll remove that and then we'll finally get to the paint correction and buffing process. So, so obviously we have the mother's clay bar kit as well as mother's instant detailer. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with the instant detailer using a microfiber cloth. I got an entire stack of these bad boys. So we're gonna begin on the side quarter panel. Welcome to the Lone Star Hawaiian new toy moment, a random orbital polisher by Torque. This particular one, the Torque X. This is pretty much the Goldilocks of orbital polishers. Um, it's real good professional grade, but something you're not going to be using on a daily basis to provide substantial income. This is perfect for that automotive enthusiast that really wants to keep their car in showroom condition, and that's the Torque X. Also, this kit was provided by Chemical Guys. It was purchased an all-in-one, and it comes with three different grades of cutting pads. You have a medium heavy, a light medium, and a finishing pad, which we're all gonna be using today. And then lastly, it also comes with four grades of polish or rubbing compound. Again, this kit is from Chemical Guys, comes with the random orbital polisher, the three cutting pads, and the four grades of compound. I will have the link to that kit in the description below. And that was the Lone Star Hawaiian new toy moment. Okay, so we're now to the point we can begin the paint correction process. So, so far we've hit it with instant detailer, cleaned it off with the microfiber, we went back and clay barred that surface to remove any additional contaminants and surface buildup on the paint. We're now gonna move into the polishing portion. So what we're gonna start off with is this medium heavy cutting pad, the orange pad, as well as the V36 rubbing compound.
<laughs> that looks good. I cannot believe that. contradict myself twice here. So I mentioned earlier the V36 was what we're going to be using. We might be using the V34. It turns out, you know, with the age of this truck and the current condition of the paint, I went down to the V34 and it seemed to do a little bit better. And I said, heck, let's try the V32. And the shine is absolutely ridiculous. It turns out what we're going to do now is use the V32 to try to get out as many of these stubborn scratches as humanly possible. Okay, so the rear quarter has been buffed. It's complete and it looks so good. Now, if I continue through here, this is a section of the truck that has not been polished yet. And you can tell there. We're on to the next portions of the truck. Aloha and welcome back. We are on day two of the paint correction. We got some beautiful liquid sunshine falling down from our Hawaiian skies. So we're starting back up here at the cab of the truck. If you can see what I was talking about there, those scratch and scuff marks in the clear coat is really what we're gonna be targeting and trying to buff out. I'm gonna go ahead and lay a masking tape here down the center. We're gonna see a good before and after in the buffing. So real similar to what we did with the back quarter, we're gonna hit it with some detail spray, clean it off, go back and clay bar that area, and then we'll get to the buffing. Bring the speed down to about a two or three setting and then crank it up and then crank it up. But it would help if it's plugged in. Once again, it is the third day of paint correction. And in reality, really not that long has been spent on the paint correction. Just more or less my schedule's been an absolute living hell. We're gonna go ahead and continue on with the truck. We are now at the front fender. And I did just realize, very, very sad moment, I'm gonna lose my fender stripes here in a second. Because the paint correction 
has to continue on. You know, one of the advantages of living here is, you know, sitting here working on the truck, the paint correction is going pretty well, slowly but surely working through the hood. And you take a step outside the garage, and that's what you see. Hi, wet dog. It's a beautiful rainy day here in Hawaii and hopefully today is the last day of paint correction. We are finally on the last portion of the truck. Let's cross our fingers, it actually happens. Finally, finally, the paint correction process is complete. The entire truck is done. We have buffed the entire truck and it just looks phenomenal. It's just like glass. Absolutely pleased with the outcome of the paint correction, but we are not done until we put a protective layer on it. Now what I'm gonna do just for now, this is Liquid Venom. It's a product I picked up out of Southern California last time we were visiting. It's a real quick on, easy off application and it provides that protection I'd like just for a few weeks. So what we're gonna do is hit it with Liquid Venom, buff it off, wipe it all down, and then we'll be 100% complete. Very happy with this so far. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Aloha.